Good evening. My name is Dr. Vijay Rao. I am a rheumatologist working currently in Manipal Hospital, Bangalore. The treatment of ankylosing spondylitis mainly is divided into two groups. One is symptomatic treatment, which is in the form of non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug tablets such as diclofenac, ibuprofen, indomethacin, etoricoxib, any of these or celecoxib. The other is controlling the disease per se. The symptomatic treatments work very well in symptom control, but the drawback of that is it causes long term side effects such as gastritis, high blood pressure, heart disease and kidney disease. So almost all patients would require non steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs eventually at the start, but with a plan of switching over to a disease control treatment. It is important that you must take the comorbidities into control such as kidney disease and you know heart disease before you start uh, these treatments. It is also important that they are on acid protection treatment when you start for um, to start with anti-inflammatory drugs. So the second category of drugs which I told are disease suppressants. They are called disease modifying anti-rheumatic drugs. So DMARDS. The uh, research worldwide about DMARDS tablets show that they are effective in symptom control in about 40 to 50 percent of patients, but they fail to suppress the disease from progressing. In effect, patients who take this achieve about 50 percent benefit in their back pain. It works very well for the peripheral joints such as hip pain or ankle pain, knee pain. Uh, to some extent, it works for eyes as well but it has no effect whatsoever much in preventing the back disease from getting worse. Hence, um, it is recommended by the SAS committee, which is basically an international society for assessment of spondylarthropathy, which is a mainly European based organization, that with patients who are failing with non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs treatment should be receiving a category of treatment called biologics. So what are biologics? These are essentially treatments to alter certain chemicals in the blood causing ankylosing spondylitis. Biologic treatment are mainly TNF-alpha inhibitors which works on a certain chemical in the blood called TNF-alpha which is a causative agent for ankylosing spondylitis. If I compare the tablets to small pistols or small guns then biologic agents are like you know, drones which attack the houses with terrorists. So that is the comparison. So they are very, very effective in removing the actual chemical causing the ankylosing spondylitis and hence the tablet related side effects are very less. Also the requirement of painkillers if somebody is on biologic treatment is very, very less. Okay. It not only controls symptoms 100% but it also prevents the disease from getting worse. That is, it prevents all the disabilities, it prevents uh, future complications such as hip replacements or knee replacements or even spine surgeries. The only word of caution about biologics is because it effectively suppresses immune system, there's slightly more risk of infections. but. There are more research now on real world experience that infection rates are very, very less on this. In this part of the world, we use biologics as an effective treatment to control the disease uh, for a matter of about six months to one year, after which we maintain the patients on tablets, which I described earlier for symptom control.